In the world of vitamins, few have sparked as much interest recently as vitamin K2. Long overshadowed by its more commonly known sibling, vitamin K1, K2 is finally being recognized as a vital player in preventing serious health complications by regulating calcium placement within the body. Modern science reveals that vitamin K2's role in directing calcium away from arteries and soft tissues toward bones and teeth could be essential to preventing a wide range of diseases, from osteoporosis to cardiovascular conditions. Yet a widespread deficiency of vitamin K2 looms, exacerbated by modern dietary choices and environmental factors. As the understanding of K2's benefits grows, so too does the call to address this deficiency and rethink the dietary and supplemental strategies that support calcium balance in the body. Calcium is a critical mineral for maintaining healthy bones and teeth, yet its proper management is complex. An abundance of calcium is beneficial only when deposited where it belongs, within the bones and teeth. Mismanaged calcium can accumulate in soft tissues, including arteries and joints, leading to arterial calcification, joint stiffness, kidney stones, and even cognitive impairment. The irony is that while calcium deficiency poses risks for bone health, excess calcium can be equally detrimental if it isn't properly directed. Vitamin K2 is essential in this management process because it acts as a biological guide ensuring that calcium finds its rightful home. K2 activates two proteins that directly influence calcium transport. Osteocalcin, which helps bind calcium to bone, and matrix GLA protein, which works to prevent calcium from settling in blood vessels and soft tissues. Without K2, calcium tends to wander into areas where it becomes more of a risk than a benefit. For most of the 20th century, the significance of vitamin K two went largely unnoticed. Early nutritional research grouped it together with vitamin K1, which is primarily involved in blood clotting. Vitamin K1 is abundant in leafy greens and vegetables, a staple of many diets, leading to an assumption that people who eat these foods also get enough K2. However, unlike K1, vitamin K2 is not readily found in vegetables. It's concentrated in certain fermented foods, animal products, and dairy derived from grass-fed animals. This presents a unique challenge. Modern dietary patterns have reduced the intake of traditional K2 rich foods. Traditional Asian diets, for instance, include natto, a type of fermented soybean that is one of the richest sources of K2. However, natto is largely absent from Western diets, and other sources like organ meats, Fermented cheeses and certain dairy products are consumed less frequently than they were in previous generations. Moreover, modern agricultural practices have shifted livestock diets away from natural pasture, reducing the K2 levels in animal-derived foods. Even grass-fed dairy products, though valuable, typically contain only small amounts of K2, underscoring the difficulty of obtaining adequate levels through diet alone. This shift in food sources and habits has made K2 deficiency a hidden but widespread issue in many populations. Further complicating K2 availability is its partial reliance on gut bacteria. The human gut microbiome has the ability to convert vitamin K1, found in leafy greens, into K2, specifically the form allowing quatches form, which is one of several different forms of K2. However, this conversion process depends on a healthy, diverse microbiome, a state that is increasingly rare in today's world. Antibiotics, which are commonly prescribed and also found in non-organic meat, disrupt the microbiome's delicate balance. Over time, repeated antibiotic exposure can reduce the gut's ability to produce K2, leading to a further decline in levels. Additionally, dietary habits such as low-fat diets popular in the past several decades, have reduced the intake of fats necessary for absorbing fat-soluble vitamins like K2. Processed foods, high sugar consumption, and a general lack of fermented foods also weaken the gut microbiome, which is crucial for K2 synthesis. Many people today are caught in a cycle of poor gut health that not only limits K2 production, but also decreases overall nutrient absorption creating a dual deficiency that makes them vulnerable to bone and cardiovascular issues. Another often overlooked factor in K2's effectiveness is magnesium, a mineral required for the proper activation of K2-dependent proteins. 
Magnesium itself is essential for bone health, muscle function, and cardiovascular stability, yet it's another nutrient that many people lack due to modern diets. When magnesium is insufficient, it hinders the effectiveness of K2 in directing calcium, increasing the risk that calcium will deposit in soft tissues rather than in bones. Together, magnesium and K2 create a synergy that regulates calcium, supports healthy blood pressure, and promotes cardiovascular well-being. Without magnesium, even high levels of K2 can fall short of their potential, leaving calcium improperly managed in the body. The symptoms of a K2 deficiency may initially be subtle, but over time, its absence can contribute to more significant health concerns. One of the most pressing consequences of K2 deficiency is osteoporosis. Bone density relies heavily on calcium deposits, and without K2 to activate osteocalcin, Bones fail to retain enough calcium, becoming brittle and vulnerable to fractures. Cardiovascular health also suffers in the absence of K2. When calcium settles in blood vessels, it can harden into plaques, which narrow and stiffen arteries, restricting blood flow and raising blood pressure. This calcification is a major contributor to cardiovascular diseases, which are the leading cause of mortality worldwide. Studies indicate that sufficient K2 intake can reduce the risk of arterial calcification and improve heart health, highlighting the vitamin's role beyond bone health. Furthermore, K2 deficiency has been linked to cognitive decline. Emerging research suggests that calcium buildup in brain tissues may contribute to cognitive issues. By preventing this accumulation, K2 may play a protective role for the brain, although more research is needed to fully understand this connection. Many people are aware of vitamin D3's role in calcium absorption, yet without K2, this increased absorption can become a double-edged sword. Vitamin D3 enhances the body's ability to absorb calcium from food, but if calcium isn't properly directed, it can contribute to soft tissue calcification rather than improving bone density. For this reason, experts often recommend supplementing K2 in tandem with vitamin D3. Together, these vitamins help to maximize calcium benefits while minimizing risks. D3 and K2 work in concert. D3 boosts calcium levels, while K2 ensures that the calcium is put to use in bone formation and teeth strengthening rather than in arteries and organs where it could be harmful. This synergistic relationship has led to new supplement formulations that combine D3 with K2, simplifying this balancing act for consumers. Given the challenges in obtaining sufficient K2 from diet alone, supplementation offers a convenient and effective alternative. The seven Malawian quaches form of K2, which is derived from natto and other fermented sources, has a longer half-life than other forms, allowing for more sustained benefits with daily intake. Seven Malawian quaches is particularly useful for maintaining stable levels in the body, as it doesn't need to be taken multiple times a day. Dosage recommendations vary with many health practitioners suggesting that K2 supplementation should align with vitamin D3 intake to achieve optimal results. While there's no universal dosage, a commonly recommended range is around 100 to 200 micrograms of K2, 7 Malawian quaches, per 1,000 to 1,500 IU of vitamin D3. However, individual needs can vary based on factors like age, health status, and specific deficiencies. K2 supplements are now widely available and come in various forms, including standalone K2 capsules, combinations with D3, and even in multivitamins. Given the potential for magnesium deficiency to impair K2 effectiveness, some supplement blends also include magnesium, addressing the mineral balance crucial for effective calcium management. Despite growing recognition of K2's importance, research on this vitamin is still relatively new, with much left to uncover. Scientists are continuing to explore K2's impact on various aspects of health, from brain function to cancer prevention, and the evidence so far is promising. Recent studies are examining how K2 interacts with other vitamins and minerals and its potential to reduce inflammation and oxidative stress. K2 is also being investigated for its role in dental health, as preliminary research suggests that K2 may help prevent cavities and support gum health, by ensuring that calcium and other minerals are properly integrated into tooth enamel. This could open doors to new approaches in preventive dental care, 
making K2 an all-encompassing nutrient for skeletal health. Vitamin K2 is gradually emerging as a pillar of modern health strategies. With its profound implications for bone, cardiovascular, and possibly cognitive health, K2 emphasizes the importance of nutrient synergy and the interconnectedness of the human body's processes. In an era when many people are conscious of their calcium intake, Understanding K2's role sheds light on the need for a more balanced approach to supplementation and diet. By highlighting the need for fermented foods, grass-fed animal products, and possibly supplementation, K2 reminds us that nutrition is not only about what we consume, but how the body utilizes those nutrients. The renewed interest in this vitamin also underscores the importance of returning to nutrient-dense, traditional foods, which provided our ancestors with natural sources of K2. As awareness grows, vitamin K, too, may soon take its rightful place among the essential nutrients for preventing age-related diseases and maintaining overall health. Addressing K2 deficiency, alongside supporting minerals like magnesium and vitamins like D3, can set the foundation for a healthier future where calcium truly benefits the body, right where it belongs. Thanks for tuning in. Vitamin K, too, might be an under-the-radar nutrient, but as you can see, it's essential for managing calcium and supporting our bones, heart, and overall health. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out on future content. Remember, small changes in our diet and lifestyle can make a big difference in our health journey. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next video.